Hi everyone, Mike from the AuthAnvil team here at Kaseya. Today, I want to get you started with AuthAnvil On Demand as quick as possible. To get started with AuthAnvil, we just need a few pieces of basic information. We'll start off with your email address, followed up by your first and last name, as well as your company name. These pieces of information form your first user account, so please make sure they are a real person. The last thing we need to do is set up your company URL. This should be in the format of something.my.authanvil.com, and it should represent your company, your brand, as well as be globally unique. Once you've filled out the form, simply click Create My Authanvil Service in order to have the system do the heavy lifting for you. There should be an email from hello at authanvil.com arriving in your inbox shortly. If you don't see it, check your junk and spam folders. In the email, there will be a link to the wizard that will continue the setup process. Here in the wizard, we're gonna go through a few simple steps. First is to create a strong password. Once you've created a password for your user account, we need to add multi-factor authentication to your account. To do that, you can use your iPhone, Android, Windows 10 desktop, or a universal second factor token. In my case, I'm using the iPhone, so I'll simply scan the QR code with the AuthAnvil Authenticator app downloaded from the App Store. Please note, if you're searching for AuthAnvil on the App Store, you want to select the AuthAnvil Authenticator app, not the AuthAnvil Soft Token app. When you open the app for the first time, you'll already be in scanning mode. Simply point your device at the QR code to set up push authentication directly to your device. Not long after, your device should pop up with an approve or deny authentication window. Please note, under some circumstances, this push notification can take a few minutes to arrive the first time. Please do not exit the wizard. If you exit the wizard now, you will be unable to return and complete it later. Once you've approved the initial authentication, now your device is set up to allow you to log in. And that's it. It's really that easy to get started with AuthAnvil On Demand. Once you've completed the wizard, you'll be taken to the administrative area of AuthAnvil On Demand, specifically the Getting Started Checklist. Here you can go through the basic steps we recommend every administrator go through in getting started with AuthAnvil. If you'd like to talk to somebody about how AuthAnvil can benefit your business, feel free to email us at authanvilsales at Thank you very much for watching and welcome to AuthAnvil On Demand. We hope you like it.